<clears throat> hey everybody, she Funk here, and um, I'm here tonight with Joe Hennessy, and we are going to be doing a special interview with him, um, you know, because who else gets a chance to actually hang out with another player? I mean, look, there he is, the man himself. How's it going? He's a, he's a pitcher for the High Point Rockers, number 25, and uh, you're new to the team, right? Yeah, so I've been here... I think maybe four or five weeks now. Yeah. Uh, hasn't been too long. Obviously, um, I was actually in college this spring. Um, played okay, and then going into this summer, started playing really well. Um, ended up getting a call from Billy, the assistant coach, uh -huh. uh, for me to come up here and you know play for a little bit, see how it goes. Um, and so so far, it's gone really well. You know, nice. when I got here, we we were a little a little slow, I guess you could say. We lost a couple games, but since I've been here, we've been hot. I mean, we've won, I think, four of the last five series or yeah, we have. something like that. Mm -hmm. So, definitely pretty cool. Yeah. So, you know, of course, you're a pitcher. Mm -hmm. um, I heard that we're actually having new pitching rules uh, mm -hmm. coming up soon. What can you tell us about that? So, the new rule, although it doesn't seem like a whole lot, it's actually pretty significant. So, the mound is 60 feet, 6 inches from home, mm -hmm. and the new rule is going to push the mound back one foot to 61 feet six inches okay so although that doesn't sound like a lot one foot is actually a lot more than it seems because obviously the hitter gets to see the ball for you know that much more time and yeah. in baseball time is everything mm -hmm. so that much more time is the difference between you know maybe a foul ball and a double or a home run mm -hmm. or even a strikeout to a ground ball to the middle for a hit so it'll be uh Interesting to see how it plays out, to say the least. Yeah, very interesting indeed. And also, shoot, you had an interesting uh, play the other <laughs> night, actually. Um, so it was uh, so it was uh, Sunday night, and it was the top of the eighth inning, and you were actually uh, at pitching at that time. But, and whoops, almost started prematurely. <laughs> and you, this is what happened. Right between the legs. Throws to first in time. What a play. J.R. Sarcina stays with the redirected baseball that caromed off of Hennessy. And a great barehanded pick up and throw to first. Now that is just a minute. off the instep of his front foot. J.R. look at a little That's just crazy, man. <laughs> so what was going through your mind when that happened? So pretty much, although it doesn't seem like it, those balls that are hit right back to you as a pitcher that don't seem to be the hardest. You know, the balls that hit right back to the pitcher that don't seem to be the hardest but are not extremely slow where you have to move and go get it are almost the hardest ones because your adrenaline's going so much, you know, you want to make the play, get the guy out, you know, you don't want to mess up, you want to, you know, keep pitching well. And yeah. all of a sudden you're trying to feel the ball and you're moving so fast and the ball's going so slow you just end up Booting it. Well, if, if you watch closely, we'll look at it again. So, let me try to get my mouse on it. Come on, baby. Come on, Finch. There you go. <laughs> you throw the ball, you hit it, and it looks like you're looking, you're trying to grab for it. And there it is. It hits your glove. And goes right through your <laughs> crotch and goes straight to JR. Like, what are the odds that would happen, you know? That's just that's just an amazing call. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, and even from looking at it, it went right between my legs and almost caught me right in the nose. Too. Oh, I no. almost <laughs> took my hat right off. But luckily, JR's a great great defenders so oh he's yeah able to come up and make the it play. was it was funny to hear the commentators comment like he was like his dad barehanded it and throwing it hard at first base yep yep no that was definitely uh definitely interesting and right when it got by me i don't know if you could see but i was i was like all upset at myself but yeah you had, you had a little expression on yourself like <laughs> oh my god what the hell <laughs> yeah like how in the world did i miss that so, so with how the league is, uh, changing around players all the time, what do you think about your future? Do you think you'll be able to stay on the team as long as you can? Um, so when I first got here, obviously, you know, I'm one of the younger guys, one of the new guys. So I, my goal is to 
pretty much pitched the best I could to try to just get some innings and help the team the best way I can. Yeah. Um, I think I've done that okay so far. I think yeah. if I can keep doing what I'm doing and keep trying to improve on what I'm doing, I feel like um, I'll be able to play on this team for a while. And Yeah. And we would love to actually have you on the team. Yeah. When it comes to uh, turnovers, do you have any type of attachment with any of your players or fellow, you know? Um. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously... You know, we're all from different places and stuff like that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, even though I might know one of my teammates for only a week, yeah, that's seven days and we're all at the field for eight, ten hours. Mm-hmm. So it's like I've been with him for two months. So anytime we lose anybody, you know, kind of the whole clubhouse is usually a little quieter because it's yeah. usually kind of like a sad day. Well, what are your thoughts about Max Palsy? Because, you know, he was actually my roommate before you were my mm-hmm. roommate. And he got traded to the power. Mm-hmm. We just finished playing the power. He, we actually saw him pitch mm-hmm. on Saturday. What, what were you going through your mind when you saw him pitch, even though he mm-hmm. was a former rocker? So yeah, no, he's um, he's a really good dude. First yeah. of all, he's he's a great dude. Uh, when I first got here, he was actually my throwing partner. Okay. So from throwing with him and stuff like that, you know, he's real tall. It's it's extremely hard to catch his ball. Oh, well, you're both tall. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, you know, watching him pitch the other night, he did well. I think he gave up a hit early, maybe. But yeah, after he that, he kind of settled in and yeah. um, pitched the way he knows how. He's he's really good. Yeah, yeah. So, definitely a good dude. Yeah, because, like, we've, we've had a lot of turnover lately, mm-hmm. especially beginning of the season. And, you know, I'm like, oh, God, you know, do we have a new team? Like, yeah. it's like, who, who who's left over the original, you know? Yeah. It feels like we got Cardillo Lee, Stuart Levy, mm-hmm. um... Well, heck, those are the only two that I'm going to know that are almost the original OGs, you know? Mm. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just how the how the, how the ALB works, you know? Yeah, and actually, um, you know, since the mountain's moving back, we lost a couple of guys uh, just due to releases and different things like that. Yeah, I um, did see some uh, transactions uh, yesterday. Yeah, there was, there was some moves that, that went down the, um, that the coaching staff had to make and, and stuff like that. So we're actually going to be getting a couple new guys uh, tomorrow when we go into Lexington okay. as well. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see who they are and, and meet them and all that stuff. And tomorrow starts the second half, doesn't it? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Either tomorrow or t- the next day, I'm not sure. Uh, well, I guess I guess with the way you're telling me with the mounds changing, mm-hmm. um, that's actually a part of uh, knowing it's the second half okay, of the yeah. season starting. Okay. So anyway... Hopefully we can get some more wins and make yep. the playoffs, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited for you guys. Well, that's it for this interview, guys. I just want to make a little short stream, and uh, thanks, Joey, for mm-hmm. uh, hanging out with me today and uh, for this interview. So uh, this is uh, Shoe Funk signing off. Thank you for watching, and rock on, rockers.